I just wanted to share this really cool product with you guys. It's by a company called Stone Boat and I'm so excited to use this when my second baby girl arrives here in seven weeks and I'm actually gonna use it for my next pregnancy update as well. I'll show you guys what it is. So this is what the packaging looks like. It just comes in this really adorable box and I like the fact that they tell you exactly what it is on the box and what its uses are. So it's a milestone blocks and it comes with two two and a half by two and a half number blocks, two five by two and a half wood blocks that say days, weeks, months, and years. They're non-toxic, ethically sourced wood and soft edges. So the packaging on this, you guys, is super nice. So here's the first block, so it just says weeks, days, months, um, and then there's like a smaller week, you could use a smaller month, and you could even use a year. So you can use this when you're pregnant, you can use this with your newborn baby, with your toddlers. I'm so excited to use this with Olivia when she gets here, but I'll just show you kind of the packaging first, and then I can show you how I used it on myself. And then here are the number blocks. So there's no sharp edges, which is great because I also have a 19-month-old 19, a 19 that likes to get into everything. So I'm really pleased with the packaging. I think the numbers look really beautiful. It's good quality. You can tell that it's not cheaply made and they look really, really cool. So let me show you guys how you can use them. So obviously you can use them for a newborn or a baby. I can even use them for my toddler because it has the years. Um, this one right here so I could even do like two years three years and up which I think is fantastic because a lot of um, milestone blocks that you get are only weeks and months so it's nice to know that I can still use this with my daughter and I'll show you guys how I used it for my pregnancy update so as you can see in the picture I just put eight months because that's how far along I am up here and took the picture and then it's perfect to go on Instagram or share with family and friends some of the features of these blocks are that they are made from premium solid wood. It is non-toxic paint, which is a plus for a mama like me. And I love the fact that it has singular and plural versions of days, weeks, months, years, and you could do week. I think that's really fantastic and that's something that's missing in most of the milestone blocks that are out there. I'm also definitely gonna be using these when Blake goes to school. We still have a few years to go for that because she is only 19 months, but I'm gonna keep these forever. And I'm gonna continue to use these even with my daughter and when my second daughter go to school because they're just elegant and they're really pretty and they're very well made and I can see them lasting a really long time. So any links of where you can purchase this will be down below. I hope that you guys um, get your hands on them because they're pretty awesome. If you have little, little ones at home or you're currently pregnant and you want to document your pregnancy, they're really cute for pictures for the gram or for YouTube or whatever you want to use it for, even just to use with family and friends. So I hope you guys check out the blocks. They are super awesome and I'm so excited to use them with both my girls and for the duration of my pregnancy. Hey guys, so in today's video, I am sharing with you everything that I eat in a day to manage my gestational diabetes. I am currently, <laughs> my toddler's over there blowing her nose, it's so cute. You're so cute. I'm currently 31 weeks pregnant and was obviously diagnosed with gestational diabetes, but I have completely switched my diet and it has made a world of a difference. My blood sugars are never high and I have a secret little thing to do to keep your blood sugars low. So if you add this to your diet, it will drastically help. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dietitian. I'm just sharing with you guys what works for me. You guys consult with your doctor first um, before you do anything or you try anything. I'm literally just sharing what I do. I'm not giving any advice. So just wanted to make that disclaimer before we get into the video. I also wanted to mention that not only do I feel better this pregnancy from eating this way and my blood sugar is lower, but I am not retaining nearly hardly any water, if any, um, where when I was 31 pr weeks pregnant with my now 19 month old daughter, Blake, my face and my lips and everywhere else was so puffy. Like seriously, you guys should see the difference. <laughs> like this, this is not puffy, thank God. So it makes a huge difference. So if you guys wanna see how I've been managing my gestational diabetes, then just keep watching the video.
time for a snack. So I'm just having about a handful of these Kirkland, yeah, dry roasted almonds that are seasoned with sea salt. And I have them because a quarter cup's a good source of fat and there's only one sugar and six carbs. So it's really good if you're trying to do low carb. Um, and it's got six grams of protein as well. So it's a healthy snack. So this is my lunch and my mom's lunch for today. We have romaine lettuce. There's um, roasted cauliflower from last night. I have how much strawberry, mom? Oh, third cup. Third cup strawberry. Um, a little bit of avocado, tomato, green onion, chicken breast, tomato, olives, and an oil and apple cider vinegar dressing because the apple cider is good for blood sugar. And we have about a teaspoon of honey in each of our salad just to sweeten it up a little bit. Yeah. So I just wanted to update you guys um, on my blood sugar. If you have gestational diabetes, you know like the numbers I'm gonna be talking about. So after my lunch that you saw, I don't know if it was the um, apple cider vinegar or what, I think it was because I had, I think I had two tablespoons in my salad. Um, my blood sugar was 4.7, so that's good. So I just wanted to let you guys know so you can see kind of like what the meal does to the blood sugar. Obviously my blood sugar is gonna, like my body and my sugars are gonna react differently than yours. Um, but just, I just wanted to show you that eating that food isn't gonna spike your blood sugar. Even if you have a bit of strawberry and a little tiny bit of honey, you can always like make it work, so. Just wanted to share that with you. So for a little snack, because it's 10 after three, I'm gonna have half a cup of cream, or not cream cheese, <laughs> that would be gross. Half a, half a cup of cottage cheese with a couple of these organic sweet potato crackers. These are gluten-free and they have baked flax seeds, sesame, and chia seeds. The macros are really good. For 16 crackers, it's 140 calories. I don't care about calories. Um, 16 carb, but you can subtract two from that because of the fiber. So it's really 16 carb and two sugar um, and two grams of protein. So that's my little, that's my little snack. After the whole cheesecake fiasco, um, it's in the oven right now. It's got 37 minutes to go. Pray for me that it turns out. Um, it smells really good. I'm just making myself an omelet. So I've got two whole eggs, a ton of egg whites, a cup of spinach, cheese, and pepper. And I might throw some green, green onion in there as well. I have made too much. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna eat half of this cause I'm not even hungry, so yeah. <laughs> Looks pretty good. So now I have to chill it before I can eat it. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge right now.